I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. I'm here to talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. Like I said, I just wanted to get on here, introduce myself. Oh, God, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Look who we got, y'all. It's Mr. Copeland. You just Miss Melnick. I'll watch it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Woody, is the transcript complete? You say no? You know that. <laughs> so guys, I just want to say that even though Woody fired me, as you all know, I still have to protect his interest. And I want to say we will not be talking about the case. We, he cannot answer anything. As you guys have seen over and over again, the state is watching i'm sure they're on say hi to the state everybody because we know they're watching so we got to protect woody we don't want anything to come of this but what questions do you have for woody did you fire me for real <laughs> have they released you or do you still have to go back they better release me have they released you or did they say they may call to ask you some more questions? No, no, nothing, huh? Do you have anything you want to say to everybody? No. You all right? I'm okay. All right, everybody say thank you for joining us to Woody. Well, you're doing a good job. Everybody, drop a green heart for Woody. Let's see green hearts. Come on, let me get some green hearts. Not no green heart. You know how these people play. You put a white I heart. I love green. That's my favorite color. I've been making. Yeah, I love green too. But okay, pink. let's drop pink hearts for Woody. Yeah, let's, pink will do it. Okay, let's do pink hearts. Come on, let's get some pink hearts, Woody. Everything Woody. we do, is, you know how they do. It. You know what's you know, going on. Look, Woody. So, do you think? Do you think that all these? How you feel about all these memes on the internet? Do you think they're funny? No. These people see me out in uh oh we lost them. Oh, so I say all that to say that but anyway, so I say that because I'm really from Atlanta. You know, I'm from Georgia, I'm from Atlanta. I am a Georgia attorney, not an Atlanta attorney. So I say all that to say that I know what other juries look like. I know what happens in other counties to people who look like me. Uh, I tell my clients all the time, you know, my whole thing is as a criminal defense attorney, all of my clients become my family. I, I can't even hold you on that. You know, I look at them like my brothers, my cousins, because at the end of the day, we are all. What you mean? You know, it's protection for all costs. You know how that goes. Hey, hey, they mad. What they mad about? Everybody put a green heart on steady. Put a green heart on. <laughs> Hey, did I do good? <laughs> why? And why everybody hates you over here? Why? Do you, what, what they got to say about you? Why they don't like you? Um, who knows? Okay, what you think about Melnick? You know, um, can I can I say more or don't? Go ahead, talk. Let's go. You know, you know, this shit was all. You know how it's supposed to go. Love is 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 dirty, but she good at what she do. She good at what she do. So when she put it out there, as far as the ex parte meeting goes, it definitely looked better. That's why her and um, some. Oh,
was talking, right? But like when it comes down to it, bro, I believe allegedly that it is individuals who got YouTubes on social media and they work for the government. Nigga, you don't play about my mother baby on live, nigga. You keep your ass. Motherfucker. Shut it live, man. Double tap the screen and hit the I like button. I think you be messing with the DA. I think you you talk, talk to the DA. We've been saying said he Nash talked to the DA. The, the old, the old, the old one. Who told you that? That dude who you post on your page that be dancing. He snitched on me. Wow. Say, he's confirming it. Toe, he's confirming want, it. Toe. Look, man. I say, I, I, he I, just confirmed it. He just confirmed this shit. That shit is even more wild. So now, YSL case is really effed up. I'm going to keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? That YSL case is really effed up, bro. Because, look, he just confirmed it that he's in contact with some sort of prosecutor or some shit in regards to... This is a ledge. But he's confirming it. He's saying, like, who told you that? Would he tell him who told him that? He instantly say, oh, yeah, that nigga snitched on me? Come on, that's a reference to what? Shit that he talk about Lil Woody. That's why I say sometimes niggas just be talking too much. They need to listen before they speak. Nigga, it was yeah, cool. You're going too far. Nigga, you, you ain't going to do that to me, nigga. Pull up, hey, man, Hey, you nigga. old ass, you old young looking nigga. You don't play about my mother baby on live, nigga. You, you keep your ass. You seen when Craig... When Craig got in front with that fuck nigga Debo, keep motherfucking playing on me. What is I ain't gonna motherfucking We seen your no jumper again. You keep ain't got no. Me. I ain't told you that. What? How you know that? Shout out to NG. That's fires on me, Woody. See now he. Keep oh, that's, hey, that good. Got, that's good. That's good. Setting that shit. That nigga breathing hard. <laughs> I, I bet when I hit you in the face like Craig did Debo, you don't know that you don't know this same motherfucking game again. Play right. Seti Nash basically gets told by Lil Woody that he needs to apologize, say you sorry for the shit that you've been saying. Now, if y'all don't know, Seti Nash is actually the one that put out the interrogation footage first. That's what he alleged, right? So Lil Woody probably been looking at Seti Nash even before this trial even started because he seen what he was doing when it came to his name. You know what I'm saying? That the shit. You know, it's obvious. I don't even think it was too much commentary that he had on the actual. The characters from Charlie Brown, little motherfucker. I think you be messing with the DA. I think you you talk to the DA. You think I fucked the DA? That the old, the old, the old man. Who told you that? That dude who you post on your page that be dancing. He snitched on me. Say you don't want them to suck a toe though. You don't even want the Gucci. You just want to suck a toe. I say I, well, I, I look at people like, like that, that old dirty well, ass. Stop, stop old dirty ass. You want to do some old shit like that? Woody, well, stop playing for I fuck you up. You going too far now, nigga. It was yeah, cool. Oh, you stop. Toe you going too nigga. far, nigga. You, you ain't gonna do that to me, nigga. Pull up, hey, man, you nigga. old ass. You old young looking nigga. You don't play about my mother baby on live, nigga. You see your ass. You seen when Craig? When Craig got in front of that fuck nigga Debo, keep motherfucking playing on me. What is I ain't gonna motherfucking your So, said he got this case and shit in uh, yeah, Sacramento. Sound like he got a lot going on. Said he got this case in Sacramento, bro. And, uh, you know, for years, people been saying some things about him in regards to then they come out with the news clip. Shout out uh, Byron Blake. But, Lil Woody is a, a legend that this man got some type of ties with the DA. But that's one thing, right? Now, Ghost posed a good question, bro. This, this shit means something. So how are they first, in the Fed's case, with FBG Duck, the old block shit, they pulled him to the side. This came out of his mouth. They threatened him. They said that we'll lock your ass up, right? So they threatened him with prosecution. And then at the end of the day, he comes out and do it again on another case. You know what I'm saying? He do it again on the Georgia case. You know what I'm saying? Certain things like the witnesses. Like, remember FBG Duck? Y'all don't remember FBG Duck, right? Case. But you remember FBG Butter. 
Y'all remember when Butter came out and said that he tired of Seti Nash? It's a repeat. Somebody in that case, damn that they star witness, <laughs> is saying they got a problem with Seti Nash. That was the first case. That was um FBG old block. I thought it was Trench Trench's news. No, he Trench's news. About- Trench's news was working for them. And look, I'm glad you said Trench's yeah. news because I, I had got like went off my chain of thought and shit earlier. What I was what I was trying to say when um Kevin was talking, right? But like when it comes down to it, bro, I believe allegedly that it is individuals who got YouTubes on social media and they work for the government. You know what I'm saying? They they're pumping certain material out there. They gonna get a spike in their views because the government gonna make sure that they get into the algorithm allegedly. As y'all can see, this live right now, we got two hundred people on here. It's just how two. Th- it's just how two thousand people on here, if not ten thousand or more. You feel me? Y'all ain't the mm-hmm. only ones interested in this particular content. We talking America, millions of people. You feel me? So. With that being said, though, bro, you seen Trench's news. Trench's news come to YouTube. I believe he was planted. You know what I'm saying? And since he been on YouTube, he been talking some federal shit. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. other guys like this. And they it's crazy because they all run in the same little circle. You feel circle, me? Yeah. It's the 1090 Jakes. It's the AK-47s. It's the Sadie Nash. It's the Trench's news. All these guys run in the same little, little circle and shit. You know what I'm saying? So it always had me like, you know what? On like two or three or four of them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? For for whatever reason. That's my personal reason. But how they all tied together. And how like, just like all of them. They all in somebody's case. AK-47 ended up in that case. They talked about links and bloggers speaking on FBG Butter. And they put it in the uh, documents. The links to these said videos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like an informant, and they told him, hey, look, delete the video or we'll take it down or, or, or we'll take you to jail, something like that. Wasn't that wasn't that the reason why? Right? Yeah. So now it's a whole nother case in a whole different area of America that's involving another witness where he's involved in a situation where he's, I guess sending threats towards the key witness inside the YSL case. So I, I think it's just kind of weird, like this nigga being brought up in certain cases where it's just like he has nothing, no involvement. He's not being charged. No, he has nothing to do with some of these cases, and he's being brought up in in, in these cases. It's just I just find that shit weird. Like it's funny some of these cases, and he's being brought up. So some people could say that maybe that's because he's doing his job as a YouTuber, a blogger, or some he getting the views, you know what I'm saying? People actually tuned in, people that's involved. You know what I'm saying? Because if Lil Woody watching this shit, I know the prosecutors watching this shit, the defense is watching this shit, and probably some of the people on the jury. You feel me? So Fact, yeah. it's just a wild situation, bro. But this shit never stops because we got individuals on the internet that's pumping certain narratives and they allowing certain people to get passes because they scared to go against them because they got smut on they fucking name. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm probably one of the biggest yeah. bloggers that call out 1090 Jake, AK-47, motherfucker Sadie Nash, and uh, Trenches News. Everybody else, they keep quiet. They don't want to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to talk about it because they scared them guys going to look into them. But believe me, they've been looking into me for a long time. Ain't nothing else. That's the whole problem. Do fucking theories. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's why they trying to like, yo, he tying this and this and together. He's saying this and this and that. They going to use that shit on Monday. That's his whole thing, though.